Hey everybody, Spudheads here. Playing the free game Serena. I've not played it yet, don't know what's going to happen. But let's see. I don't know how the audio is because I can't, there's no options. Sometimes, menu. when I make a great effort, I can remember her scent. The sweetness of her breath. Serena. Awesome. I can not, there's no menu, so I just have the game volume turned down. I'm not sure how loud the game volume is going to be when I listen to the uh, video back again, so if you can't hear me very well, I apologise, but I am trying to speak quite loud, just in case. But yeah, there's been some good reviews about this little point-and-click adventure. I haven't played it yet. Hopefully it's going to be quite cool. I wish there was an options menu there. Maybe if I hit F1 and F2 and F3... No... Okay. The photo was right there. Maybe I could have another look. Took a screenshot, okay. Maybe... Maybe control S? One more try. Control I know S. it's pointless. No. But I need to do it. Okay, cool. I'll just play. Let's have a look at the... Whoa, what? Why is it... Serena? Why can't I see you more clearly? Why can't I even remember? Serena, why can't I see This you was anymore? taken on that crisp winter night at our mutual friend's hunting lodge. We came back indoors laughing, giddy as teenagers. So why can't I... It was truly like an enchanted time, like we were in a magic circle where no sorrow or pain could touch us. Come on. I want to be able to see you again, Serena. There's nothing I can do. I click. Wait My right love. Out. If you love her so much, why don't you smudge her with your thumb and fingerprint? Okay, I want to put this down now. We don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. <laughs> My love. Oh. The guy who stepped this, our host that night, used an actual film camera. It was a different world back then. We don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple. The guy who snapped this, my love, we don't have a lot of photos okay. of ourselves. So what do I do to put this down then? Do I just look at something else? Okay. Maybe I can eat some salt. No. Okay, so let's go this way. Interesting. Wow. Hmm, do one of these look like the things that keep us tired? Common sense. Do one of these stand out, maybe? Um. So much. I love most. A lot. They did most. A lot of rarities okay. and special editions here. I didn't lend out my. Most of the books are mine. A lot of rarities and special editions. I didn't. Okay, so I want to get out of here now. A lot of rarities here. and special editions. So, so many afternoons spent in this armchair. How, this this guy set. Okay, what's all this? Let's have a look here. Oof. Come on, mate. What are you doing having that in your house? Like, come on. That's just terrible. It's like somebody in limbo. I don't want to watch that. Okay, let's go over here. Um, okay, let's read this. Come love with peace in your heart, said Nyam of the ice blue eyes. Ride with me, shed your mortal guise. Here is our mount, a snow white mare. Come oisin to my gardens fair. In the land of youth, play your, play your art. Ours shall be the cycle of days. Our sun and sky and rainbow ways. Okay. I still can't understand. Even the features of her face feel hazy and distant, like remnants of a broken dream. Well, maybe you should have taken your brain pills, mate, instead of forgetting things all the time. Okay, I'm going to get back here and look in this chest. Something draws me to this trunk. 
We use this trunk to store trinkets and papers, but I can't help thinking there's something of import. It's too painful. I want to, but we found this trunk at a flea market. We used to love rummaging around those in our early years. Big enough for a lifetime of mementos. Damn. We hated guns, so we never had any, even out here. But this would have been a good place to keep one, since it can be locked. Ooh, maybe this turns into a first-person shooter. We found this trunk at a flea market. Okay. We used to love rummaging around them in okay. early years. But we had a lot of good times in this bed, eh? Hmm. Okay, let's go and check out the cabinet first. What's in here? Quite a large armoire for our admittedly Spartan needs. She uses most of it. She does. It's your boring stuff. Nobody got time for that. Well then, how, if she uses most of it, why are all these doors? I don't see anything of hers here. You, my friend. We all have our. I'm not. Maybe later. There's nothing of interest inside the closet anyway. Oh? Ooh, here we go. She adored all things of nature. I remember her long walks out in the woods. Man. She is fairly religious. Not me. I'm the cold and cynical bastard. But I don't remember that ever being an issue between us. I'm, I'm guessing that you're dead, mate. And this is your bloody limbo or something. That's my guess, and I don't know, maybe they're saying God's real and she's religious and she's gone to heaven. Maybe you both died in a car crash and you're trapped here for Our refuge from the world. A place of warmth and passion. I don't know how to take this story right now, but I'm just going to guess like that. Because this just throws you straight in and I have no idea. Ugh. Oh, look. There's a strand of blonde hair in the comb. There you go. Well, you got some hair of hers, mate. Do you remember the color now? Yes. Blonde hair like sun rays. I'm remembering. You got Alzheimer's or something, mate? What's wrong with my memory? Did I have a well, stroke? I think you're dead, mate. I honestly think you're hers. dead. Hers. I used it too when shaving. You're definitely dead. Can I pick up the hair? No. Okay. Um, I suppose we have Commune a look at everything. Evidence, Serena's favorite perfume. Oh, how do you remember? Let's go in the drawers. Keys. These keys are for the cabin and the car. Okay. Well, we need one for the truck. Maybe they're in here. Um, they prevent my blood pressure from skyrocketing. Doctor's orders, and Serena's. Yeah, you're dead, mate. You're trapped in limbo. It sucks to be you. Okay, let's see. Dearest, Ooh. how do I say any of this? I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't know what I'll do. My life feels so unreal now, dreamlike, but wonderfully so. Let me try, even if clumsily. The hours I spent with you when we last met are precious to me. I was so lost such a short time ago. Everything seemed drained of color and feeling. I think we were meant to find each other, to bring meaning to our lives again, make sense of the confusion shrouding both of us. When we stepped into the crystal silence of the snowy woods, away from the chatter of the guests, all nature seemed expectant, as if holding its breath, witnessing a rare moment of something infinitely better than what life in the ordinary run of things has to offer. Do you remember how the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? How the copse of trees in which we walked was haloed with a magical aura? I felt the chill of the night air, and you opened your coat and enfolded me in your arms, and we hugged tight, sharing the warmth, sharing the only thing any of us have to share on this earth when you think about it. Wow. And then you toppled us on the snow, you devil. We laughed and rolled around, my head already spinning from the wine and crisp pure night air and the stillness all around. We lay back and I guess when I realized what I was seeing. The luminous starscape, like a vast velvet cloth sprinkled with powdered sugar, like it can only be seen in the countryside. I had tears in my eyes when I turned to you and we kissed, and it felt like the only moment in all of time, or outside time, and ours was the only spark that could ignite the universe. 
You gave me these moments. You complete me in ways I never knew to dream of. Let me be the one who makes sense of the confusion whenever you feel lost again. We can make our own world against the rest of the world if need be. Together we can silence all the demons, heal all the wounds. I love you. In eternity yours, Serena. Damn, that's full on. Wow, okay. It's been so long since I said her name out loud. I think that's the moment I fell in love with her. When she told me the soothing sound of her name. Damn, okay. Very much in love with so me. glad to meet you. My name is Serena. Nice to meet you too, Serena. Very nice to meet you. My heart is racing. I can't help but feel there's something I have to do. What are you looking at this stuff for if you got your beautiful wife? She was special. Contradictory. She didn't mind these. Actually, I think she was into them too. Ooh. Nipple. That looks interesting. You can always try it. Ooh. Awesome girl. What an awesome girl. I read well, it from the articles, her? of course. Oh, like that one by the guy. That one about the thing. Yes, the thing. The ding -a ling thing. I needed some incentive to go check the mailbox from time to time. Hmm. It's some way through the woods. <laughs> Good Something idea. Something good left in this world. They still make covers like this. Erotic. Not obscene. Yeah, okay. Enough of that. Close you. Nothing else in there? Uh, it's the same one, isn't it? Okay. Let's go. Uh, check anything else here. Sometimes we joked we needed to be so far out in the woods because that's how it's a beautiful day. <laughs> Though there's an unnatural calm surrounding the area. She made this with her own hands. Wow. She was really good. The clock is a trophy from our flea market adventures. Chalk this particular purchase up to every cabin needs one. <laughs> Unlike its sibling, this lamp would last for months. Hmm. Okay, let's go. I think that we've looked at everything around here now, haven't we? Let's go. Oh, I didn't look at that. Is that our kids? Oh, come on. You're taking the piss, aren't you? Really? Come on, really? What the? I don't know words for that. That's that's terrible. I'm getting out of here. That's an, that's enough of this. Get me out. Let me out. No, I don't want to leave right. I, I better stay mean? in in case Serena comes back. What do you mean, mate? Where am I meant to go now that I've seen everything? Maybe I'll look out the window here. This window never got much attention. Then again, the view isn't nearly as spectacular. <laughs> Priorities, right? Maybe no. This one wobbles. I always meant to do something about that, but somehow never got around to it. Of course. Sharing meals with a good red wine was one of the great pleasures in our relationship, especially in the intimacy of this cabin. I didn't lend out my Necronomicon, did I? Probably. You no. died. Of course not. Most of the books a lot of I did most a lot 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 I didn't. Okay. Righto. Mm. The furniture came with the cabin. Considering how off the beaten path this place is, that helped me. Sometimes she would brush her leg against mine under Come sit with me. I want to talk. And cuddle. Hmm. I sit down. What did we talk about? Damn this fallible memory of mine. Come on. I, I probably I need to sit down, don't I? I need to look at this again. Oh! 
Hey, Serena. You two getting on. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual film camera. It was a different world back then. At least you can see her now, mate. Well, there she is. My love, we don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. Oh, shit. What's going on? Oh. What? Come on, what are you doing to me? Sad now. She was just smiling. What? She was just smiling, wasn't she? Is that tears? It, it's different. But that just—it can't be different. Oh God. Okay. Am I going mad? Oh, mate, you—you're dead, mate. I'm pretty sure you're dead. Somehow she looks sadder than I remembered. Did I really have been so wrong have about done? that night? What have you done, mate? Look at you. Some boy, there's something about you, mate. I don't like this. The guy who snapped this? Our host that night? My love, we don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. Come on. Is this different too? Years passed, no tears fell, no death now. Reached the golden shores they trod. Here dwelt once mortal and god. Always in of flesh, the am of the fay, till treason's light brought disarray. Broke through imagined shell, are all my earthly loves beyond recall? Cried Oisin, Lord, lost, lost as I am in thrall. Oh, I knew it. Come on. Is there anything worse than beautiful I feel like I don't even have this what once gave me so much joy oh, what now you fills done, me mate? with big enough for a lifetime of we hated guns so done? we never had any even out here oh, but this would have been a good place to keep why I should really stay I prefer the dark there's nothing what? for me out there this door has been creaking for years I have this gut feeling that I shouldn't leave just yet like you you are not a good person. There is something bad about you, mate. I know it's my general state of mind, but I feel even more depressed near this armoire. Guess I can't shake off the memory of my sweet Serena trying on her various garments. Be honest. Does this dress show too much cleavage? I want only one pair of eyes on me. How I miss her naked back when she was standing by this armoire. The perfect curve of her neck, her firm bottom. This is, this, this is getting to me, man. Because, I mean, it starts making you think about what you have, and then if you don't have it anymore, then just what sort of, what sort of downward spiral it would put you into. I'm a casual dresser. No need to change clothes right now. Don't think Serena would approve of me making an even bigger now? mess of the clothes in here. Are these all the same? Because things are changing around here, and I don't like it. I didn't look at this one, did I? Okay, let's look in here. Now. Same thing. Close up. Let's go. Oh, what? I can almost feel her hair tickling my neck. The intoxicating smell of her skin. Could you take this out and beat it, love? It's getting a bit dusty. Yeah. It's one of the few decorative things here. We weren't much of homemakers, either of us. What do you mean? I remember us washing it. Pro no trap door under there, just more creaky floor. I don't know, I reckon there's a trap door I there. always resisted the temptation to sweep things under what there, the and it was my turn to tidy up. The rug's all crooked again. Can you help me straighten God. it out? What is it with this rug? No trap door under there, just more creaky floor. This is the way I'm heading. This game. How long has it been, I wonder? I can't tell. And I miss her so much. Oh, bet you do, Mike. We seemed to take fewer and fewer walks as the years went by. Everything around here is so familiar. 
Why do you just stay in this little cabin all the time? What's wrong the with you? The ticking. It never stops. For you. I've wasted so much time in my life. Did I ever take a break to show her how I much I truly you, cared? I don't think you did, mate. I, really don't think, I don't think you did anything. The clock has always been rather autonomous. No matter how many times we've wound it up, it keeps going out of sync. How could I possibly forget the color of her hair like that? Because you're, you're Even a for a moment. There's something wrong with you, mate. She was my girl with the sun in her hair. What's happened to me? I don't know, mate, but it's freaking I like to it. watch her comb her hair before she came to bed. But that was so long ago. At some point, I just stopped. Yeah, you stopped caring about her, mate. What do you think's gonna happen? She's gonna leave you. That's what's gonna happen. Mm. Mm. Far out. Are you serious? She also had a brush, oh. but I can't see cool. it anywhere. Where the noise goes. Or some of her other personal items. It's just a regular comb bought from a supermarket. New enough to still have all its teeth. Mm. Oh, I never noticed that. it before, but there's a tiny crack in it. Well, it's a hairline fracture. I still remember when this thing oh smelled of fresh paint. How did I miss everything getting dinkier, more worn? We should have renewed our life somehow, but money was always so tight. Yeah. After all these years, it permanently smells of her and her perfume. The last thing I need now is to see myself in the mirror. Yeah, I you must need look to awful. see if you even have a reflection. Proust mate. wrote all his life about the associative power of tastes and smells. He spent his last years in retreat from the world, though, writing in a cork-lined bedroom. Maybe that's where you are. It's too tangy, too poignant. Brings it all back. I thought that's, I thought you missed do I even matter to you anymore? Oh. Do you even notice anything I do? How I look? How I smell? God. Far out. She once told me, how I supposedly used words to fool her somehow, but what did she think this stuff was? Natural? You are a lunatic. How was I supposed to react when she used this, anyway? She knew I loved her, it's not like we have to say it over and over again. Yeah, you do, actually. You need to tell them that you love them. Over and over again. The smell of this disgusts me. So many lies, oh, like so much mate. deceit. She probably left it here just to spite me. All of this, these pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. I torture myself trying to remember. Too upset to even. I hate her. All of this. What? These pathetic souvenirs from our relationship. They're all locked. Where are you going? Oh, that's rich. Oh, just run God. away. I just needed to blow off steam to be somewhere else. Just for a while. But I, I can't even remember what we argued about. Probably about taking the trash out or the, or the rug. Unless she was the one who left. Obviously, mate. You're a psycho. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Torture myself trying oh, to remember. Shut your mouth. You're a horrible man. I tried to flush these a long time ago, but someone noticed as if she cared about my impotent life. Yeah, impotent indeed. That's probably what these are. Viagra. High blood pressure. What a load of bow. I've never felt better in my life. I'm sick and tired of having to pamper you like a baby. Fine. I hope you have a great, lonely time at the hospital. Too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. Oh, you, mate. You are a horrible man. <laughs> How could you say that about your missus? The stains on this bed suddenly make me mad. Angry, even. Wow, something bad happened here. Why must life always end up so sordid and hateful? It's true. It can happen. It depends if you let it. I'm not crawling in there. I'm too riled up for that, and it's its just not dark enough anyway. All of this... these... 
pathetic so souvenirs from our relationship. Here, They're all lies. Do I have to look at this again? Oh, screw that. A part of me still thinks she'll forgive me and come back. But I've lost all hope now. Yeah, so Do I deserve to be forgiven? No. What about all the things she did and all the things she said? Shut up. Words and dreams may be enough for you, but you know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon because I've had enough. Oh, did she kill you? I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Why torture myself trying to remember? Oh my god. Can I open this yet? Oh. Okay. It's just a bunch of schmaltzy junk. What do we pick up first? Her jewelry box. What is it doing here? What have you done, mate? Far out. I sit here on the train, taking me to my final farewell to the ones who brought me to this world. I see the smiling couples on their way to new adventures and think, that used to be us. We had joy and laughter and friends once, but a memory is not the thing itself. You're very good at letting things you don't want to face slip off you. You continue as if nothing has changed, lost in your own lifeless world. Words and dreams may be enough for you. You know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon. I question how I once saw things. How much of what I thought we had were my own feelings, and how much of your manipulation. Because you are so very good with words, aren't you? You knew how to use them when we met, and for the longest time, I went along with the romantic whirl you conjured up around our shabby, isolated existence. Oh, it took me long enough to see it for what it was. And there were these moments that you swept me off on foolish flights of fancy, when I threw myself into your fantasies. You wove your spell, plying me with your magic and with wine in equal measure, and I was taken in like the lost little girl I was. Do you realize all the pain you've caused me? They say if you have to ask whether someone loves you, you already know the answer. Protestations to the contrary can no more convince me any more than I can make my own mother or father draw breath again. Your aloofness tells a different story. Damn. I sit here on the tr I no longer know what you're thinking. With my parents gone and with your refusal to even accompany me in my time of need, something broke. Or maybe it happened long ago, but I never saw it so clearly before, even after everything. I don't make you feel comfortable? Really? That's all you have to say? I won't waste any more life waiting for things that'll never come. Of course, that's what you expect me to do. Play the good wife so no one will laugh at you for being the failure you are to shield you from the truth of your existence. Lost in your books and vapid verse, blithely drifting into the mists of time, as if not even a footnote when you could be raking at it if you'd only used your words for anything other than personal indulgence. You talked and talked about your path, the winter blueness of my eyes, all that nonsense. And the years rolled by, the seasons came and went, on and on. You pursuing your dreams that will never be. Lost in your damned words, looking for clues you'll never find. I'm sure you're doing it even now with your rotting books. You took the best years of my life and gave only empty words in return. We've gone as far as we can, and something's got to give. Oof. I sit- I Is this where she kept her secrets? Yeah. I should take a look inside. Where to put it? A shrine to naivety. I should just destroy this you- I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. Oh, you are All of terrible, this, man. These- I couldn't care less. Why you torture myself trying to remember? Yeah. Okay. Do I have... Okay. I had a crash. And then I had to get all the way back here. Oh my god. There's no save feature. <laughs> Terrible! Okay. Let me get back into it. Changeable man. Insolent wretch. Who was it made the first overtures? Named love unending as time endures. Even as we wade across my father's realm, the mystic sea, burnish to thy poet's helm. Know this, scribe it in thy final sketch. Spell thy love without fault to the fay, or end thy life with feet of mortal clay. <laughs> I know you can't hear me very well, guys, but this stupid game why let me change the audio it's doing my head in sit down we need to talk okay oh she is angry she's angry now 
part of me realizes I should be more shocked by this, but for some reason, I just feel numb beyond it. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. She was lying to me and manipulating me all the time. Why did I let her do that? Hold on, dickhead. You were doing that to her. Okay? I'm the one who should have been scowling. She played me like a harp and made me look like a complete idiot. You are an idiot. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Why torture myself trying to remember? Oh, shit. Oh. This armchair. This is where we had that talk. That damn... I've been trying so hard, but we lost something along the way. Did you get my letter? Will you just listen to me for once? God, you're always... Wait, where are you going? Don't walk away from me. I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. You horrible man. I tried to be charitable with her, but what did it get me? Honestly, she could rarely carry a tune, so her humming habit got on my nerves. You are terrible. Oof. A part of me still thinks she'll forgive me and come back. But I've lost all hope. Do I deserve to be- Words and dreams may be enough for you, but you know what? You'll get a chance to test that- All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. I should tear all her filthy, disease-ridden clothes up. Everything she wore, just to lure me in. You are fucked in the head, mate. Not even these violent impulses give me the strength I need to open the arm wall. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. I reckon she's in there. I reckon she's in there. And you put her in there. It's just a book. Stupid, feeble-minded woman with her silly, menial things. I torture myself trying to remember all oh, the real color fa- It must be full of dust my- I told her the rug was fine work, like I know anything about handicrafts. But it's what the Empress wanted to hear, wasn't it? Oh, so she knitted that, and you were too much of a maggot to even be able to say you've done a good job. You, my friend, deserve whatever you got. I'm too upset to even think straight. Shut up. I couldn't care less about the damn thing now. Guess I could have thanked that heartless slut at least Ooh. once whenever she covered up her body. How could I have been so blind? Her vanity. Always fixing her hair before bed. Wow, you really ended up hating this girl. How could you love somebody so much and then just hate them so much? I can't even bear to look at my face doting on her hair like a child. But I'm... I'm being unfair. Would I have wanted her to be some frump? Ugh, I'm too angry to even care. All she cared about was herself all along. Her needs, her feelings. That's all that ever mattered to her. What about mine? I hate her so much. She never descended to criticizing my looks, though. Even when we fought, even when my hairline started going, it was a sore point for me. My thoughts are all over the place. All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs. She once told me how I supposedly used words to fool her somehow, but what did she think this stuff was? Natural? I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Why torture myself trying to remember? Dearest, how do I say any of this? I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't know what I'll do. My life feels so unreal now, dreamlike, but wonderfully so. Let me try, even if clumsily. The hours I s- and then you toppled us- Okay, so that wasn't in there before, was it? I need to look at the jewelry box, don't I? How do I look in the jewelry box? I mean, is there an, an inventory in this? I don't even know. Is there a press an I? Tab? I don't want to press too many things in case it crashes again. 
But how do you look in the jewelry box if there's no inventory? Oh. I took the jewelry box. I don't even know where to look at it. Let me out. Too upset to even think straight. Maybe I could sit here now. I hate her so much. Maybe I need to sit I feel down. like throwing this chair through the window. That would just make me even angrier. Okay, let me sit down and see if I can go through this jewelry box thing. Oh. All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship. Ooh. They're all lies. Here we go. Oh. I remember how happy these made her. She smiled. That wonderful smile. Why do you even hate her smile, mate? Her wedding ring or mine? But what is it doing here? Oh, please, no. It's hers. I can't believe she would just leave it here. Where the hell is she? No. She's dead in that armoire, mate. You've killed her. Can't be true. No. No, I didn't do it. I need to wake up from this nightmare. I must have gifted these to make amends or something. Or did I? Did I ever gift her anything? I think you killed her when you first met her and you just made up this alternate reality. I couldn't care less. She loved her trinkets more than she loved me. Why torture myself trying to remember? No! This isn't happening! What? I knew it. My god. What is this? It can't... It isn't... How did it happen? I can't remember. Oh, of course you can't remember. It's already rotten beyond recognition. But how much time has passed? My god! It's dry and withered. A body takes at least weeks to... How, how long has it been? remember how I did it. Maybe I didn't. Do I have brain damage? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. You are a piece of shit. Oh, no. Oh. Get me out of here. This is shit. I remember stumbling on this more than once, but she always insisted it be kept here. Oh. She did it on purpose. Come on, let's get out. You don't deserve to even be here anymore. Those noises, are they coming for me? What? I deserve... There's something about those voices. I must know. The don't window. Don't tell me you did the kids too. Do you realize how oh. stupid this was? We had a plan. I took measures to ensure nothing like this would happen. But no, you couldn't help your damn self. What? We can't risk moving it now. The bulldozers are coming any minute. Fire will do it. Do you think what? they will buy it after all this time? It's been months since you... Don't worry. 
It's all covered. He spent much time here. Fine. Oh. Give me the kerosene. Oh, that's you in there. That's you in there. You're dead. Oh shit! We forgot your. Fuck. Oh. It was so stupid to leave it. Why did you do that? Can you calm down? I couldn't bear to wear it any longer. It's in a safe place. We'll pick it from the ashes. Oh my god! No! Not like this! Please! No! You're already dead, Mike! <laughs> Holy shit! 